Hi everyone, I've got a Microsoft Word tip for you today with 365 Ninja. I'm going to start in Word 2013, but I will show Word Online as well. And we're going to go through how to create a resume using a Word template. This is a really nice and easy way to take the guesswork out of resume formatting and use a template that Microsoft offers. So starting here in Word 2013, you'll go to your File tab, click New, and you have the search for online templates bar here. You can also browse what's available for you just in this sort of pre-made listing here, but I will suggest just type in resume. You can also type in CV as an alternative. Click enter and you have a bunch of options here. So I'm just going to click the very first one. It's probably the most basic and you get a little preview. So just clicking through them, you can go through them and see which one kind of suits you. But once you have chosen one, click Create. And now you can go through and fill in all of these details. And what's really nice is that it kind of gives you some tips here throughout the template. So if you don't know what to add, you can follow those directions and I clicked tab. It messed up the formatting a little bit, but I can simply control Z to undo. So click through, add in all of the details that you need, click save, and you've got a resume. You can of course change the formatting as needed. You can change the font size. You're not totally locked into the formatting that you get, but I would suggest find a template that you like and change it pretty minimally because that's the beauty of a template. You don't have to make that many changes. Now I'll switch over to Word Online. And you don't have the same search bar that you saw in Word 2013. And the way that I got to this screen was by clicking New in Word Online. And what I would suggest is here, again, you can kind of scroll through the, you see a simple resume, resume and cover letter template, but if none of, none of these look quite right, scroll down to the bottom and click See More Templates. Now it takes you automatically to the Word section and you can browse through select resumes and cover letters and you'll see all of your template options here. So let's say that I want to pick this one this time. I get another preview and I can click open in Word Online. The template itself will be saved to my OneDrive for Business. Click continue and you might have to sign in here if you're not signed in already. Now our template is opened up in Word Online, and it's the same process. I just go through and replace the fields with my personal details. And you can see the instructions here are to replace any tip text with your own, just select a line of text and start typing. So the, the dynamic fields aren't quite the same as in Word 2013, so you might do something like select and start typing, just like it suggested. So two methods of creating resumes, one in Word 2013, the other in Word Online, whichever you prefer is great. And hopefully that tip helps get you started creating a resume with a little less stress than starting from scratch. For more tips and tricks like this one, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.